I started my career at Dell uh, as a corporate strategy analyst. And then when I moved back to China, uh, I started working in consulting. I uh, always want to uh, do something bigger. Uh, but my problem was I wasn't quite sure what and how. So I decided to take uh, one step forward, going for an MBA to find out what and how. I kind of feel the three terms are very, very different. Um, I think in Mikomas, I was still kind of trying to understand what is MBA about, right? Uh, in the uh, CVP, right, uh, Cambridge Venture Project, which was a project with um, four different students with completely different background. And I think that's one of the projects that I learned a lot uh, because I have, uh, I come from a consulting background where everybody uses a, a similar approach to solve problem. Um, I tried to bring that to the CVP, but it didn't work quite well because um, I, I didn't, I wasn't aware that people are um, solving problems in different ways. I think that's very eye-opening for me. I think in CVP, what my biggest takeaway was, uh, it's really important to keep the team on the same horizon, keep everyone on the same page. So in GCP, I focus a lot on internal communications within my team, really trying to design the entire project with my team together to make sure that everybody can develop the area that they wish to develop. But I think in CVP and GCP, I really started to collaborate um, really just to focus on developing ideas and also contents, combining a perspective from a lot different, uh, many different perspectives. So in the UK, I did explore some things that I feel personally very proud of. I found some really interesting brands. Um, and one of the brands was a cereal and like oat milk uh, producer. The founder was also a judge alumni and we connected together and he is really interested in entering Chinese market. So I have been helping him uh, entering the market and also that kind of matches with my, um, my goal of MBA uh, to really make impact to the businesses and also to the society. I think that entrepreneurial spirit is what I found out. I think what I discovered in Cambridge. Um, I think, you know, before I come to Cambridge, I didn't really think from uh, starting something and also make something happen standpoint. This is like the part that I have been missing. But coming to Cambridge, I see so many of my peers, my classmates, they are very entrepreneurial. So that really have a big influence on me. Um, I also looked at myself and reflect um, to explore some of those options that I might have on the table. I think the entrepreneurial spirit also matches with the growth uh, mindset that I learned from Cambridge, um, they go both hand in hand. One of the purposes for my MBA was to transition from consulting to healthcare. Uh, healthcare is a industry that I found out I have personally have a lot of passion and also I see a lot of uh, growth in the future. So after MBA, I will be joining GE Healthcare um, in Shanghai. I think I do want to focus on the um, idea diversity I think this is key at Cambridge. Um, we are in an environment that everybody is allowed and also definitely encouraged to express his or her opinion, uh, regardless of um, topics. And I especially like uh, in many of the lectures, all the professors are very welcoming for questions and also discussions. I feel I personally grow a lot, especially from the perspective that I haven't seen in the past. So I think that's like a big plus for my Cambridge experience. Cambridge is old, but it is still growing. Not only growing its scale, its student body, but I think most importantly, it grows people's mindset, right? And we have been talking a lot about how much I learned uh, from this year in terms of professional skills and also my personal experience. Cambridge makes me to be a better person.